Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where we are going to be going over the workflow feature of Wix. And yes, this does still tie into the WTF What the Funnel series. And this is probably gonna be one of the last videos and really when you're creating your lead generation funnel, one of the last things that you want to have in place place to be able to um, set this up on autopilot is working with some of these automation features. So that's what we're going to go over today. It's kind of just going to be an overview for those of you who have not yet worked with the workflows option. So if you have not yet already, please go ahead and make sure that you go ahead and click on the subscribe button as well as the bell so you get notified when a new video drops here on the Wix Training Academy channel. And without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. So first of all, when you are thinking of how you can use a workflow feature for your business, this really is going to be able to be used by any industry, any niche, any service. Um, so oftentimes, if you're on another platform, this is called a pipeline. And some of you might be doing this manually already and not even realizing it. And when you're able to set up a workflow, it's going to save you so much time. Um, I know for me, one of the other tools that I recommend using in order to kind of visualize this whole process is something called Trello. I've probably talked about this before, um, but for example, with Trello, this is kind of where I personally, for my own business, we've laid out our, our SOPs, or your standard operating procedures, meaning, um, you know, you have all of these different steps that happen, whether that is when you're generating a lead, whether you've gotten a new customer, um, there's like a series of things that you want to happen. So for example, if you're a service-based provider or a service-based business, your workflow might look something like, okay, I have a new client that came on board. Um, I need to send out this email and after they send that email back or I need to send out this contract and after they pay the invoice, then I wanna send this information out. So there's like a series of things that happen, right? Now, oftentimes this is done manually um, or whether that's you doing it by yourself, if you're a solopreneur or whether you have, you know, an assistant, um, this is something that before I had hired a team that I was doing on my own. And then once I started working with workflows, I was able to set it up so that I was actually able to kind of just do this on my own. So it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money later on. So one of the first things that you're going to want to have before you even start working with workflows, and I know you've heard, <laughs> you've heard me say this before, but you always want to get the blueprint before you build. That's very important. Otherwise, it, you know, it's kind of just like you're going to go build a house and you're just like nailing, you know, random boards together and like, oh, I hope it I hope it works out. So you want to actually sit down and think about the process that, you know, maybe it's a new customer. If you have an e-commerce store um, that they're going to take or a series of things that you want to happen. So maybe it's, hey, after someone purchases an item from my store, I want to send an email to follow up with them in two weeks, or you know, I wanna do this, or um, maybe if you are a service-based provider, you want to sit down and map out what your process is going to look like. So for example, maybe that's, okay, I want to send a contract. I need to then send an invoice, send a welcome email, send them the information on how to access their dashboard. There are many different ways that you can use this, okay? So now let's dive into the actual overview here on Wix. So first of all, you're going to want to pull up your, um, your dashboard here. So remember, this is the editor. 
I know if you're if you're an experienced Wix person, just bear with me because sometimes we have some newbies on here. So when you're on the editor, you just go to click on my dashboard and that will pull up the behind the scenes dashboard stuff. Now, for me, the easiest way to get to the workflow option is just to type it into the search bar. And when you click on that, it will bring you up to this tab. The workflows are also visible underneath of the contacts section of the settings on your dashboard, okay? So when you go here, what you're gonna see, and we'll go ahead and click on Get Started. Now, you can create a workflow from scratch, or you can use one of the pre-designed workflows that Wix already has. And as you can see, there are workflows for leads, for website design, maybe you have a workflow like if you're hiring, um, like applicants, if you have an online store, that's another one, if you have site members. So you can really use these workflows and customize them to be whatever your business needs, okay? So just for the sake of this, let's just go ahead and use the most popular one, which is the sales flow, um, sales lead workflow. Okay, now keep in mind that in order to actually be able to use all of the features and functionality, you are going to have to have an Ascend plan um, with your Wix site. So this is an, there are different levels to the Ascend plan. I personally recommend starting with either the, the medium one or like the top level one because you're going to go through automations when you start implementing these faster than you realize. Now, your site does come with a free plan. Okay. It's built in there's, and there's like a certain number of automations that you can use. But obviously if you are looking at implementing this, you're probably going to want to have an upgraded plan. Okay. So now when you're in here with the workflow, what you're going to see is there are different columns. Now each column represents a different step that is going to happen when someone is moving through the the flow okay so for example i am currently working right now with two workflows in wix and one of them is for leads or client leads and then another workflow is for new customers. So like the onboarding process. So that's just how it's in my personal business with my clients. Um, so for example, what you, and you can rename these steps, you can pick up and drag the cards, okay? And each one of these columns, when you have cards inside of them, that's gonna be a, um, a contact. So every card can, you can move them and add them manually. And then you can actually set up triggers that will then allow them to move themselves through your workflow. So what this is going to do is instead of you having to say, oh, okay, this client sent this invoice in, now I've got to manually send them this email and the back and forth it's going to eliminate that. So personally, I like to use the Trello tool because what we have here is we have the welcome emails already typed up. Um, we've got the, you know, the booking, the um, post-contract email, all of these things we already had typed up so that when I go and put them into the workflow, each one of these items then becomes a different step. Now, the only difference in Trello versus um, Wix is that all of the steps in Wix go vertically instead of like, you know what I mean? So like it's, it's, that's just a little bit different. But what you're going to do then, and when a contact is going through this workflow, so let's say step number one, you want to, you create the lead. That's step number one. So when someone is dragged into the new customer, then they're going to start it's going to start this series of triggers that you can set up through the automations, okay? So that would be step number one, lead created. Maybe step number two, you're gonna say, I'm gonna send the welcome email, okay? And then step number three, maybe you're gonna rename this as invoice sent and paid, okay? So you have to decide like what your, steps are going to be and this might be different for each of your businesses but this is kind of just a general overview now 
once you have all of this done, okay, you're like, okay, this is what I want to happen next. You've got your steps done. The second thing that you can do is you'll see in the upper right hand corner of the workflow, there are these three dots. This is where you, the settings are for this column, which means you can rename it. You can add a card to here, which the card is just the, the contact, right? So you're like, oh, this is my, um, this is my new website client and you would then search for your contacts and you would add that card into that. Okay. So that's what you would do. Um, so the next thing that you can do is then you can create an automation. So this is then going to take you from the workflow to the automation tab and automations are like one of my absolute favorite things to work with on Wix because it's where the magic happens in your business. When you are able to unlock that, you know, the automation and you're really able to set up your customer acquisition and your lead generation and have this whole process be on autopilot, you're truly unlocking time freedom and almost like building yourself out of that business. So that's why automations are one of my favorite things to teach here. So when we're talking about automations, we can say, um, I'll do, I always do like a little zap here and I'll say, welcome email. Okay. So let's say, or um, we can say this trigger, send email after invoice is paid. Okay. So I always recommend being very specific with what your automation name is and what it's going to do, because later on you'll see this in a list and you don't want to have to be thinking like, oh, what was that? What was, you know, what does that automation do? And then having to go back in and be like, oh, that's what it does. So just name your automation exactly what it's going to do. And now we're going to choose a trigger. So for example, let's say I have chosen a workflow, okay, as the trigger, which means that when someone is added to a card is added to the workflow, and I can say my sales lead workflow, I want to I want to send the welcome email, okay? So now it's like, all right, so now what do I wanna do? I want to send an email to them and then it's gonna do this whole thing, right? So now, it's now I'm able to connect my automations to the workflow, which mean that when I manually drag, so the, the only really truly when you're working with this, one of the only things that you have to manually do is drag that new client into the new client um, or the sales lead workflow. And then this will automatically start to go, right? Or you can say like, um, okay, once they've paid their invoice, okay, so once the invoice is paid, I can then um, get notified by email or I can add a label to the contact or I can um, move the card in the workflow, right? So you can choose that as a trigger as well. So let's say that you have a client, they paid their invoice. And now once they pay that, now you want to start the welcome sequence of, okay, here's what we need to do next. Here's what we need from, to have from you. Here's where to, you know, to look out for. So you can trigger that welcome email by using the workflow and the automations, which is such a cool, cool feature. So I'm curious to know, by the way, are you currently using workflows and automations or has this kind of overwhelmed you prior to this? I know that when I was first introduced to workflows, it felt a little bit overwhelming, but once I really got in there and started to understand how to utilize them, um, it was just I mean, you know, it sounds cliche, but it was really a game changer for my business, especially went back when I was just a solo entrepreneur and a freelancer. Um, so I think this is going to help a lot of you, especially if you're kind of doing things on your own. And I'm also curious, is this a topic that you would, you have questions on, or you would like to see more of a breakdown on, um, so yeah, let, just let us know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this and if this is something that you would like to see, maybe even expanded upon in um, a series or, or something like that. Okay, so that's a couple of things you can do with the workflow for sales leads. Now, let's say that you are an e-commerce store owner. How could you use workflows? How would this apply to your business? So 
If you have, let's go ahead and discard this. If you're an e-commerce store owner, a couple of things that I've done with my personal clients is let's say that you want to create a new customer workflow and you want to have an email sent to them after they purchase. And then maybe like down the road, you want to have like an email sent two weeks after they purchase or, um, and then you want to remind them later on, like, Hey, how is, how are you liking your product? You can actually set those up here in the workflow and the automations, which is a really nice feature. You can also, um, send them like, let's say that they have, well, let's see here. Let's say that they are a customer and you want to give them a coupon or coupon, however, <laughs> however you say it, and you want to give them something for purchasing, you can absolutely set up that automation. So for example, you can say, uh, where is it? To Wix Forms invoice to work for it. Mm, that's not it. It was supposed to, there's like purchases. If I can find it. There's pl pricing plans. Okay. Oh, here we go. So if you put a customer into the workflow, right? So if you're like, all right, I want to add this customer, new customer, they've made a purchase. I want to add them to the workflow. You can then decide to send them um, a coupon via email so to, you know, regain that business without having to constantly like send new broadcasts out or something like that. You can schedule this in so that when they're you know, they're going through and they're part of your business, you can actually facilitate more business by sending them coupons out, which is nice. You can also add adding labels to your contacts is another automation that makes it really easy to be able to go in and separate who's, you know, did they purchase this product? So when you're looking at remarketing and marketing to current customers, you can get very specific with your marketing when you use automations to add labels to your contact. So that is where that will come in handy um, down the road. So there's, it's really endless and you can also kind of see why I recommend having one of the upgraded ascend plans because you can really start to go through these automations quite quickly as soon as you start to set them up. So that is an overview here of just the workflow and how to use that. Um, so this would really be once you have generated that lead and they are now, you know, they're coming through your funnel and you're really automating the back end of this process to be able to unlock more time freedom for yourself. So I would love to hear from you. Is, is this a topic that you would like to hear more about? Are you currently using automations? Do you love them? Do you have questions? We'd love to hear from you down below. And if you enjoyed this video and it's something that you would like to see more of, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Remember to click on the subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified when the next video drops. And thank you so much for tuning in today and I will see you in the next video.